What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to start off by really quickly thanking all of you because we just hit 5,000 subscribers here on the JC Sims channel. I don't want to sound like a broken record or anything because I feel like I always say this, but I'm truly so grateful for every single one of you that subscribe, view, comment, like my videos. It, it really means so much to me. YouTube has always been a dream of mine, even when I was a little kid, and it just always felt like exactly that, a dream. And every single time one of you guys comments and subscribes, and every single time I get one more view, it really just, I get that much closer to living my dream. So I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you. Um, definitely keep an eye on my Twitter. It will be linked down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. It will be down there. Uh, I am working on a giveaway. I'm just kind of busy with school and trying Trying to get my LP and stuff together, but I will get a giveaway going soon, very soon. So definitely follow me on Twitter to see more updates about that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a very popular mod in The Sims 4 to add some more realism to your game, and that is MC Command Center. MC Command Center is really one of those like essential mods. If you played The Sims 3, this was like the Inras, Inras? In RAS, that was like the MC command center of The Sims 3, and it's basically the settings command center and you can do so many things through the mc command center that i feel like a lot of people don't know and that is what i'm here for today i'm going to show you a few of my favorite settings to add some more realistic gameplay but beyond that just a few little quirks and tips on how you can use mc command center just for better gameplay in general if you like videos like this please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and turn that notifications bell on so you get notified every time i post a new video and let's go ahead and get into it Okay, everybody, so we are here in the game, and I know you're probably like, what in the Maxis match is going on in here? <laughs> so we are at the goth household today. The reason why I am at a base game family with these base game clothes and this base game fence, like, ugh. The graphics on that, are you kidding me? Um, I am here because I just wanted to start a new game so all of my settings were fresh, so that is why we're here. Like I said in the intro, MC Command Center is like a necessity. I think if you are able to download mods, this is like the first mod that you should download. If you click on your Sims, you're gonna have this option for MC Command Center, and that is how you get to the settings that are like Sim specific. And you also have the MC Command Center settings on the mailbox, wherever that is. Where, okay, here it is. Um, you also have the MC cheats on the mailbox, which has a little bit of different cheats for like world management and stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to go through settings wise is my personal settings for like lifespans and stuff. I actually play based on a Reddit post that um, has MC settings based off of real life census data. So I loosely follow that. Uh, I follow it and kind of tweak it based on what I want my game to be like. So first we're going to go through the age settings I like to use. We're going to click on a computer. Uh, for some reason, there was no computer in this house. I don't know what it is with EA not putting computers in their pre-bit houses, but there was one of these little tablets. So we're going to click on the tablet and go to MC Command Center. And once this is up, you're going to have all of these options. So the computer is where you do MC settings for like age and population and whatnot. We're first going to come to MC settings and then go to set age span duration. And we're first going to go through human. I'm not going to do cats and dogs in this, but we're going to do the human durations first. So I like to play on really long lifespans. If you don't like to play on long lifespans, this is probably not the video. Well, this section of the video is probably not for you. So let's first go to baby. And for babies, I like to set my babies to be about five sim days. Uh, they don't really do much, but I like to have like a little bit of an interaction with them where they turn up into, you know, devilish little toddlers. So that is the baby ones. And you do have to keep coming back through again and again and again. So we're gonna go to human and toddlers. So right now it is at seven. I like to do about 15 days. This is like double, I know. For children, the default value is 13. Um, for the census data, it says that it should be around 32 days. I personally change mine to 20 days. I don't really 
care for the child age group. So I do 20 days and for the teenagers, it also says 32 and I'm going to keep that the same because I do like playing with teens. I feel like there's a lot of gameplay there with like getting them through, getting good grades to get to high school and stuff like that. A lot of teen angst to be played out. I feel like that could definitely be a little longer. For young adult, we're going to do 75 days. It specifies 76 days, but I just like to make them even. Uh, I play super long young adult and adult because especially with university, uh, but the first time I ever got university, I played through and by the time my sim was done with university, she was ready to be an adult. So I like to give my young adults time to, if they want to go to university, they can do that. Just time to build themselves up for adulthood. And then adults, I go ahead and do 100 days. We're going to come back to elders and I give elders about 50 days. I don't know. It's a good longer duration for them. So cats and dogs, that's how you will change those if you like. Um, I'm not going to lie. I do make the dogs and cat ones longer because I don't want them to die because I love pets so much. But those are my age um, span durations if you would like to know. So now we're going to go back into MCC settings and go to money settings. And in money settings, this is where you will have child support. You can change your bills. You have inheritance, all types of that stuff. I do a video on my channel with the S and B banking mods that comes with child support, but there is a child support function actually in MC command center. So you can come to this pay child support selection. If a child is not living with both parents, this setting can allow money to be removed from or paid to the active SIM household. No child support payments or earnings will happen during the regular billing cycle. So right now it's on none. You can have it where everyone pays child support, married only, unmarried only, or the default, which is none. So I like to go ahead and choose unmarried only. And if we come back and go to child support percent, the percent of a parent sims value that will be billed for each child they are paying support on. This includes lot value plus household funds. So right now it's on one. So that means I will get 1% of the um, other parents lot value plus how many household funds they have. So ooh, I'm sorry about that notification. So um, if they had like a million, I would get, um, if their house was worth like 900,000 and they had a hundred thousand in the bank, then I would get 1% of a million every single time. For this one, you want to stay within the 1% to 5% range. It just depends on how much you want. If you go like any larger than 1%, like 10% or 20%, you end up getting like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a week, which I don't think is very realistic unless you were like Beyonce's baby or something. So I set mine to about 3%. I find that that's a good amount to get every week, depending on how rich they are. And here you can also change your bills percent. So you can increase or decrease the weekly bills amount. I leave that alone. I feel like after eco lifestyle my bills were not like exorbitantly high or anything you can also change the apartment bills percent if you would like and another thing that i think is really cool you can actually do auto pay through here so if enabled when bills are generated they are automatically paid if the active household has the funds available so i leave this on disabled because i like to see what i'm paying but if you don't want to deal with bills and turning stuff off like getting the water turned off and stuff you can just have it to where your bills will be set on auto pay he got money oh so you also have inheritance with the MC command center. So when a sim dies, this setting determines whether or not they leave any of their household funds to their spouse or children, depending on the type of sim that is dying. So right now it has none, but you can do NPC only, played only, played and NPC only, active only or all i usually do active only or um played only if you use played only it will do you know obviously you're active because you played on that one too i usually do active only so that is that one and then you have inheritance spouse first so if enabled when a sim dies if they have a spouse then that spouse will receive their inheritance rather than the children i also have this enabled because that's just the most realistic i also wanted to show you a setting if you're into this mc command center actually has an auto save if you are like me and you never save you can use auto save and through here you would click use auto save and enable and back here, you can change what you want the um, autosave name to be. You have the autosave slot number. So uh, slot underscore number, 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 like in your um, tray files. And you also have the save interval type. So you can save uh, every sim hour, every sim day, every real world hour. Um, and then there's a pre-midnight alarm. 
not really sure what that means. Um, so I really like this option. I've used it in the past. It's really um, handy. I don't like auto save features in any games because I'm like sometimes really into it and then it just like saves and that gets on my nerves. So it's there if you'd like it. I just don't use it that often. We're still in the MC Command Center settings, and if we come to Relationship Settings right here, you have the DK and all this stuff. I personally leave this alone. Um, so this is how much like a romantic relationship or a friendship will decay over time. So I leave those alone, but we also have Allow Teen Parenting. So I started a new game, so this is disabled. Um, if enabled, teen sims can also learn the parenting skill and learn new parenting interactions. I'm going to enable that because it will um, come in handy for later. This this comes in handy for teen pregnancies and teen parents having them um, do the parenting skill and whatnot and then you also have the breakup settings in the relationship settings so in the breakup settings only one that I use is the move children with breakup so this specifies whether a sim should take their children with them when they move out due to a breakup it is the percent chance the children will move so it can be set to zero for never 100 for always or something in between for a random chance so with this it's kind of like if you get divorced or break up like who's gonna take the kid but it's not so much where you can choose so just for a little bit of uh, messiness I like to keep it around 30 to 50 percent I'm gonna keep it on 30 it's just for storytelling you know if I have a couple break up and you know the mom takes the kids and the dad wants to get the kids back that's just a way for me to set up gameplay through the game so I set that one to about 30 so if we go back over to the gameplay settings portion of the MCCC settings, um, one thing that I really love is the maximum household size option right here. This one's really popular. A lot of you probably know about this, but this defines the maximum number of sims allowed in a household. So uh, if you, right now it's obviously eight. You can have up to 104 sims in one household with MC command center. Uh, just to note, if this household is changed to more than eight, create a sim will not function correctly. So every time you go into create a sim, um, any sim after eight will disappear, <laughs> which is sad. So um, just keep that in mind. I leave this alone. I usually don't need more than eight, but if I do, I do use this. So that I just wanted to mention that. We also have the game time speed option in here. So the number of real time milliseconds for every sim second, the default is 25 and less than 25 makes the days go faster and greater makes the days go slower. So I don't mess with this one yet. Uh, there, the NRAS mod for Sims 3, they also had one like this, but when you changed, there was a setting to change the time, but there was also a setting to change it to where if I was to skip forward to times three speed, it would go back to normal time. I've not been able to do that with this, so it's just too slow for me. Um, so I'm still on the lookout for a time mod because I would like my Sims to have longer days, but when I want to speed it up, like I want to speed it up, you know what I mean? So that is really all for the gameplay settings that I mess with. You also have things like skill difficulty adjustment, so you can make it easier or harder to level up and down in skills. Again, I leave that alone, um, but it is in there. So next we are going to come to MC career, and this is just useful, at least for me to adjust like everyone else's careers outside of my own sims first going to come to teen employment range and the minimum and maximum percent of sims to be employed zero zero would be full unemployment and 100 100 would be full employment so right now it is set to 40 50 at minimum there are going to be 40 percent of teens are going to be employed and at maximum half of teens are going to be employed i personally don't really care about this i don't really notice it but in the settings it says to change it to 27 to 33 and i've always just kept it at that so i'm going to keep it at that now for the adult employment range it is currently at 70 80 and we're going to change it from 73% to 83%. Again, keep in mind, these values I'm doing for like age and career and population, this is based off of national census data to make it more realistic. So according to national census data, a maximum of 83% of adults are employed. So that's just what I do. And then elder employment range, I go ahead and follow the Reddit post and do 17 to 20% just because most elderly people are, you know, retired or not working. Down here we have children quit school and teen quit school. So uh, I do not have children quit school open in my game at all, but I do have the option for teens to be able to quit school. So if enabled, teens will be able to quit high school like they do quit a job. And then after that, I use another mod sometimes if I have teens that had to start working early, you know, rags to riches type thing. I use this other mod. I think I 
did this in my teen mod, I'm not really sure, but it lets you unlock all the full-time jobs for teens. So this is really good for that. So now if we come into MC Cleaner, I don't do much in here, but first we're gonna come to Item Cleaner and we're gonna go to Sync Glasses. I don't know, I might have put something about this in my last video about fixing the towny fashion faux pas, but if one of the outfits a sim is wearing includes glasses, then copy those glasses to all outfits except bathing, sleeping, and swimming. How cool is that? So if you're like me, like if I have a sim that's wearing glasses, you know, I'm all about the realism. I make them wear their glasses for all their outfits so they can, you know, see. Uh, so this one makes it so where if there's another sim, you don't have to keep copying the glasses. You can, the MC command center will do it for you. So I always have that enabled. I think that is so, so cool. And that's the only thing that I use out of here. Everything else has to do with like calling and stuff. I can maybe do another video on these if you'd like. So if we come to populating settings, right here we have percent baby all the way through percent male and female all that stuff so we're gonna do a percent baby first and the percent chance that a game generated sim will be a baby rather than a teen they recommend five percent i always go five percent with this for toddlers we're gonna change it to 18 children we're gonna do 37 and then adults we're gonna do 46 percent elder we are going to do 18 percent and percent male, we are going to do 49%. This is just because, again, according to the census data, there is a little bit more females in the world than males. So that is that. So all of these, what I just put in, all of them should add up to 100. Um, so this just basically fills out how the world is generated, how many babies, toddlers, children there are um, in the world compared to adults and whatnot. So that's really all I do. Also, if you would like to see how you can use MC Command Center to fix all of your townies and maybe have better looking townies so they're not dressed a mess, you can can go watch my last videos on how to fix those towny faux pas. Uh, I can show you two ways with a mod and just with command, MC Command Center in the second half, so go check that out. That has to do with the import tray settings and whatnot. Not gonna go through that because I already did that in another video. You can also, through the MC population screen, you can enable or disable bar nights. I go ahead and do this for bear night, alien night, ghost night, night night and i leave singles night ladies night and guys night just because those are normal i hate going to the bar and seeing a bunch of bears so i just like to turn those off next we are going to move on to mc pregnancy and the first thing we're going to do is come to pregnant sim selection so now we're going to do valid pregnancy ages right here this setting specifies the ages that sims must be for eligibility for pregnancy so right now it's on adult i'm going to go ahead and choose teen young adult and um, adult just because I you know it happens you know it, it just happens I'm gonna come back here and go to partner sim selection valid partner ages we're gonna choose teen young adult and adult we're also gonna come down to adoption settings and we're gonna do the same sex adoption percent because the game sets this at zero so poor Brant and Brent Hecking you know the game is not gonna generate an adopted child for them we're gonna go ahead and change this value to 21% this is just going to say that 21% of same-sex couples in your game, they're going to have um, an adopted child. So we're going to go ahead and say okay for that one. And then for the opposite sex adoption percent, I just change it to something a little bit lower, like 15%, you know, something like that. Also in the marriage settings, if we come to other marriage, we can actually change the settings for how the game identifies like um, marriage and changing the last names. So if we come to rename opposite sex, this is gonna be the setting for when marrying a male and female sim, change the female's last name to match the male. So you can change this to use the female name, um, use female, male, or no change. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, use male or female name or leave names unchanged. Personally, I like to leave names unchanged and then I'll just go in and use the create a sim.full edit mode sheet and I will change my sim's last name personally just because sometimes I might want my sim to be a hyphen name or I might not want my sim to change at all you know it just changes with how I'm feeling so I just like to leave them unchanged myself and change them when I need to um, and then that comes with the same gender I just have it disabled again um, I can change them to match or hyphenate or whatever I want myself if we come back into MC Tuner, we are still on the computer, and we come to change interaction behavior. One of the things that I always need to do anytime I start a new game, update anything, I come to the change interaction behavior and come to allow emotional deaths. See, I start a new game disabled. There is no reason why my sim should die of laughter 
or be embarrassed to death. It, it's just, it's doing too much for me. So I go ahead and I turn that one off as well. Come into change interaction autonomy. You can do some different things autonomously. So we have autonomous proposals. Enabling this setting will allow autonomous proposal interactions to happen between Sims. The chance of this occurring is controlled by the core game and not my mod. So I have it on disabled. You can put it on enabled. I know that there is a mod for autonomous engagements and stuff. And this is just one of the many ways, like I said, you can use MC Command Center to replace some of the mods in your game. I think this is really nice to leave enabled. I would like to see something implemented. This is just wishful thinking. Like if we got proposed to by someone outside of our household, we could then say yes or no. That would be fun. But you also have autonomous marriage. I leave this on disabled because I do not want my sons getting married without me. Like we have a wedding to plan and you know, we have venues to look at. You cannot be doing stuff without me. Um, we also have autonomous cleaning. If enabled, any eligible sim on any lot with an object that needs cleaning may autonomously clean it. For some reason, this is disabled. I go ahead and enable it. Um, we have gardening. We also have repairs. I go ahead and turn that on. And then we have flirty. Um, disabling this setting will turn off autonomously flirting interactions with sims. I go ahead and disable this because I, my spouse's sims, they just love to flirt with people for no reason. But I usually leave everything else just how it is the last setting in mc tuner is the autonomy scan this was i showed this off in my scco cooking mod overview video but basically this setting allows you to um turn autonomy off for certain objects. If you would like to see that, I show you how to do that in the SCCO video. Now we are jumping from the computer and I'm sorry, this video has no gameplay in it really at all because I am just showing you how to do your settings. I've gotten a few comments actually asking me what my personal MC command center settings are. So this is what I'm showing you today. So if we come over to the mailbox and we go to MC cheats and we do them slash NPC household cheats. Now, I love this first one. It says summon sim and you can summon by name, list all sims or list no ghosts. I love using this when I want to call a sim over. Maybe if I'm doing like a thumbnail or something, I can put in a name. I don't know. We can put in Dirk Dreamer. Okay. And when I come to my notifications, it'll say Dirk Dreamer will be right over. Obviously, if you don't know the name of the sim that you want to invite over, you can summon them by a list and it literally lists all of the sims in the world so i think that is really handy for when you want to get a sim over right now if you're like me and you do not like any of the magic in the game you can also automatically humanize all aliens vampires and mermaids i usually do this i'm not gonna lie except for alien i like aliens in my game and i do like an occasional vampire but i i tend to just leave these two just take them out because i don't want vlad to come to my door at night you can also set all of the walk styles to whatever you want. So you can make everyone in the world have a feminine walk, you know, whatever. This mod is just amazing for controlling every single aspect of your world. This is also how I come into MC Cheats and I go to Seasons Cheats. This is how in my videos I get questions. How did you just change the weather like that? This is how I do it. I know there is cheats that you can like type out. This is a lot more easy. I can change the season completely. I can make it middle of winter if I want to, but I especially use it for the weather. I feel like the weather in the sims 4 is so unpredictable and i feel like it's raining a lot of the time so it's raining right now i can make it um sunny and hot sunny and cool if i want to um let's just make it sunny warm and then after that you can enter the number of hours you want that weather to stay all the way up to a thousand hours so if i put it in for an hour it will be sunny for an hour you'll see um the sun will come out in a second it takes a little bit to register but the sun will start coming out and as you can see look at the sun coming out over here yes so the sun will start coming out and that will last for one hour or however long you want it to take effect mc cheats on the mailbox if we come to change world time you can change it you know days later hours later anything so um, it may be necessary to save exit or restart the game or change zones after performing a time change to reset internal game alarms yes because i usually change my game through ui extensions cheat and whenever i do this it kind of takes a while because the game is kind of behind still so just keep that in mind also, after you have changed all of these settings, so any setting pretty much changed on the computer that has to do with age or really anything, you're gonna have to restart your game for the changes to take effect. 
And then if we come over and click on a sim, we can check out these settings that come with each sim. So you can modify your household and create a sim. This is how I switch to modify household immediately. You can change their outfit immediately to whatever you want to by coming into MC dresser right here and then change outfits. You can also randomize your clothing, remove all accessories. So as you can see, her necklace and stuff is gone. So if you have a sim that is wearing an eyeball ring and a fedora, you can just click on them, come to MC Command Center, MC Dresser, and remove all accessories. I think that is a really useful, useful setting. I'm sure if you play or mod The Sims, you already know all the commands in here, but you can just, you know, start a pregnancy. You can do the autonomous tuning thing, which again, catch my SCCO video if you want to see how to do that. But if we come to MC Cheats in the Sims menu, this is how I like to cheat my Sims' info if I am starting up a save and I want to um, make, you know, background stories for The Sims, I will cheat them up with skills and stuff. So if we come into Cheat Sim Info, this is how you can use skill cheats you can set any type of skill you want um, you can change your mood um, cheat your career promote demote change your vacation days you also have expansions cheat so MC command center really takes everything and puts it all into one place place. Um, I really hope that getting through my settings wasn't too difficult. Um, I obviously didn't go through every single setting in MC Command Center. I just went through the ones that I use the most. Um, so now I'm going to restart this so you can see that the settings actually will stay. Okay, so we're here back in the game. And if we want to see if our changes took place, all we have to do really is go to the age span because that will be the most telling change that we made. And if we come to Cassandra Goth, we will notice she has 30 days until she ages up to a young adult. Um, Bella Goth, she is a young adult. She has 72 days to age up. Um, Mortimer here has 98 because he's an adult and Alexander has 20. So yeah, everything seems to be working. If we come to Cassandra and MC Command Center and pregnancy, we are able to start a pregnancy with other people so we know that the that part of it works. And yeah, I really think that if you're someone who can download mods, if you are going to download any mods at all, I think the first one is MC Command Center. If you don't like using like script mods that really change your game or custom content, this is a great way to make the game a little more personalized to your tastes. Obviously, you do not have to use what settings I used here. I just wanted to show you around a few of the settings and maybe you can go in and change them to your liking. Also, just with the age duration when I fixed it, make sure that through your options, your game options and then is it gameplay yes and then sim lifespan when you're going to change the lifespan like individually how i did with the days make sure this is on normal if this is on long it will just add the days onto the lifespan and you'll have like a 300 life 300 day lifespan for adults and that is just a little too long for me so yeah those are really all of the settings that i use in mc command center when i am playing the sims 4 and I hope I was able to teach you some things. Okay, everybody, that is going to be it for today's video detailing some of the settings that I like to use the most in the MC Command Center mod. If you would like to see any more videos with the MC Command Center or honestly any mod videos that you want to see at all, please don't forget to leave requests and whatnot down in the comments box. I'm always looking. I always want to put out content that you guys want to watch, of course. So always let me know if there's any new mods out there that you've seen that you want me to check out for you. As always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn that notifications bell on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.